Henry Nelson Goodman, the 7th of August 1906 to the 25th of November 1998, was an American philosopher known for his work on counterfactuals, morology, the problem of induction, realism, and aesthetics. Topic: Life and career. Goodman was born in Somerville, Massachusetts, the son of Sarah Elizabeth née Woodbury and Henry Louis Goodman. He was of Jewish origins. He graduated from Harvard University, A.B., magna cum laude 1928. During the 1930s, he ran an art gallery in Boston, Massachusetts, while studying for a Harvard Ph.D. in philosophy, which he completed in 1941. His experience as an art dealer helps explain his later turn towards aesthetics, where he became better known than in logic and analytic philosophy. During World War II, he served as a psychologist in the U.S. Army. He taught at the University of Pennsylvania, 1946 to 1964, where his students included Noam Chomsky, Sidney Morgenbesser, Stephen Stitch, and Hilary Putnam. He was a research fellow at the Harvard Center for Cognitive Studies from 1962 to 1963 and was a professor at several universities from 1964 to 1967, before being appointed professor of philosophy at Harvard in 1968. In 1967, at the Harvard Graduate School of Education, he was the founding director of Harvard Project Zero, a basic research project in artistic cognition and artistic education. He remained the director for four years and served as an informal advisor for many years thereafter. Goodman died in Needham, Massachusetts. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Philosophical work. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Induction and grew. In his book *Fact, Fiction, and Forecast*, Goodman introduced the new riddle of induction so called by analogy with Hume's classical problem of induction. He accepted Hume's observation that inductive reasoning i.e. inferring from past experience about events in the future was based solely on human habit and regularities to which our day-to-day -day existence has accustomed us. Goodman argued, however, that Hume overlooked the fact that some regularities establish habits a given piece of copper conducting electricity increases the credibility of statements asserting that other pieces of copper conduct electricity while some do not the fact that a given man in a room is a third son does not increase the credibility of statements asserting that other men in this room are third sons. How then can we differentiate between regularities or hypotheses that construe law-like statements from those that are contingent or based upon accidental generality? Hempel's confirmation theory argued that the solution is to differentiate between hypotheses, which apply to all things of a certain class, and evidence statements, which apply to only one thing. Goodman's famous counterargument was to introduce the predicate GRU, which applies to all things examined before a certain time t just in case they are green, but also to other things just in case they are blue and not examined before time t. If we examine emeralds before time t and find that emerald A is green, emerald B is green, and so forth, each will confirm the hypothesis that all emeralds are green. However, emeralds A, B, C, dot etc., also confirm the hypothesis that all emeralds are GRU. Thus, before time t, the apparently law-like statements, all emeralds are green, and all emeralds are gru, are equally well confirmed by observation, but obviously, all emeralds are gru, is not a law-like statement. Goodman's example showed that the difficulty in determining what constitutes law-like statements is far greater than previously thought, and that once again we find ourselves facing the initial dilemma that anything can confirm anything. Topic. Nominalism and morology Goodman, along with Stanislaw Lesnevsky, is the founder of the contemporary variant of nominalism, which argues that philosophy, logic, and mathematics should dispense with set theory. Goodman's nominalism was driven purely by ontological considerations. After a long and difficult 1947 paper co-authored with W. V. O. Quine, Goodman ceased to trouble himself with finding a way to reconstruct mathematics while dispensing with set theory, discredited as sole foundations of mathematics as of 1913 Russell and Whitehead, in Principia Mathematica. The program of David Hilbert to reconstruct it from logical axioms was proven futile in 1936 by Gödel, because of this and other failures of seemingly fruitful lines of research. 
Quine soon came to believe that such a reconstruction was impossible, but Goodman's pen colleague Richard Milton Martin argued otherwise, writing a number of papers suggesting ways forward. According to Thomas Tymochko's afterward in New Directions in the Philosophy of Mathematics, Quine had urged that we abandon ad hoc devices distinguishing mathematics from science and just accept the resulting assimilation." Putting the "...key burden on the theories networks of sentences that we accept, not on the individual sentences whose significance can change dramatically depending on their theoretical context." In so doing, Tymochko claimed, philosophy of mathematics and philosophy of science were merged into quasi-empiricism, the emphasis of mathematical practice as effectively part of the scientific method, an emphasis on method over result. The Goodman-Leonard calculus of individuals is the starting point for the American variant of morology. While the exposition in Goodman and Leonard invoked a bit of naive set theory, the variant of the calculus of individuals that grounds Goodman's 1951 The Structure of Appearance, a revision and extension of his Ph.D. thesis, makes no mention of the notion of set while his Ph.D. thesis still did. Simons 1987 and Cassati and Varzi 1999 show that the calculus of individuals can be grounded in either a bit of set theory, or monodic predicates, schematically employed. Morology is accordingly ontologically neutral and retains some of Quine's pragmatism, which Timochko in 1998 carefully qualified as American pragmatism. Topic: <inaudible> Bibliography. Click here for information about translations of Goodman's books. The Calculus of Individuals and Its Uses. With Henry S. Leonard, Journal of Symbolic Logic 5, 1940, 45-55. A Study of Qualities. Dis. Harvard U, 1941. Reprinted 1990, by Garland, New York, as part of its Harvard Dissertations in Philosophy series. A Query on Confirmation, The Journal of Philosophy, 1946, Volume 43, No. 14, p. 383-385. Steps Toward a Constructive Nominalism, co-authored with W.V.O. Quine, Journal of Symbolic Logic, 12, 1947, 105-122, reprinted in Nelson Goodman, Problems and Projects, Bob's Merrill, 1972, 173-198. The Structure of Appearance. Harvard Up, 1951. Second ed. Indianapolis, Bob's Merrill, 1966. Third ed. Boston, Rydell, 1977. Fact, Fiction, and Forecast. Cambridge, Massachusetts, Harvard UP, 1955. Second ed. Indianapolis, Bob's Merrill, 1965. Third, ed. Indianapolis, Bob's Merrill, 1973. Fourth ed. Cambridge, Massachusetts, Harvard UP, 1983. Languages of Art, An Approach to a Theory of Symbols. Indianapolis, Bob's Merrill, 1968. 2nd ed. Indianapolis, Hackett, 1976. Based on his 1960-61 John Locke lectures. Problems and Projects. Indianapolis, Bob's Merrill, 1972. Currently unavailable. Basic Abilities Required for Understanding and Creation in the Arts, Final Report with David Perkins, Howard Gardner, and the assistance of Jean Bamberger et al. Cambridge, Harvard University, Graduate School of Education, Project No. 90283, Grant No. OEGO 9-310283-3721-010, 1972. Ways of Worldmaking. Indianapolis, Hackett, 1978. ISBN 0915144522 Paperback ISBN 0915144514 of Mind and Other Matters. Cambridge, Massachusetts, Harvard UP, 1984. Reconceptions in Philosophy and Other Arts and Sciences with Catherine Elgin. Indianapolis, Hackett, London, Routledge, 1988. Paperback Edition, London, Routledge, Indianapolis, Hackett, 1990. Topic see also American philosophy List of American philosophers Topic Notes Topic References Cassati, R., and Varzi, A., 1999. Parts and Places, The Structures of Spatial Representation. MIT Press. Konitz, Daniel, and Rosberg, Marcus, 2003. Nelson Goodman. 
Chesham, Acumen and Montreal, McGill Queen's University Press. Gardner, H., and Perkins, D. The Mark of Zero, Project Zero's Identity Revealed, HGSE Alumni Bulletin, December 1994-39 1, 2-6. Schottenkirk, Dina, 2009. Nominalism and Its Aftermath, The Philosophy of Nelson Goodman. Santes Library, Vol. 343. Springer, ISBN 978-1-4020-9930-4. Simons, Peter, 1987. Parts, A Study in Ontology. Oxford Univ. Press. Topic external links Bibliography of the Complete Primary and Selected Secondary Literatures, by John Lee, Papers on Nelson Goodman by Catherine Elgin. Connitz, Daniel, Rosberg, Marcus. Nelson Goodman. In Zalta, Edward N. Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy. Giovanelli, Alessandro. Goodman's Aesthetics. In Zalta, Edward N. Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy. The Unity of Goodman's Thought by D. Connitz, 2009.